Greetings. My name is Daniver Scott, producer, live sound engineer, among other things. I just want to take the time out to help churches to best optimize their Zoom settings for great audio quality, nice stereo imaging, etc. Let's dive right into it. Now, when you open your Zoom account, you will see this formula window. Um, but first, I want for you to go over to settings. You can access settings, you know, one out of two way by either clicking here and it will take you into your general settings window as well as you can click and where your photo would normally be at here and you have settings here again so what we're going to do when we are in settings ensure that we scroll down now to view more settings this is going to take you directly to the the, the the website for zoom where you would naturally signed up your account so let's close this window for now I'm already signed in, but the first thing I want for you to do is to ensure that you log in, ensure that you're on the meeting option here, and also that you're on settings, all right? So now we are going to scroll down to the bottom where we'll see the options that we're looking for. So here we are. Allow user to select stereo audio in their client settings, and also allow users to select original sound in their client settings. What these options are really representing is that in your Zoom app on your computer, you would be able to now see this option, these two options, right? And also you'll be able to have a real good listening experience in terms of sending audio into Zoom, nice stereo image, etc., etc. So once we've done that, we will close and go back to our app. So now that we've enabled those two particular features, let's go back into our settings and go down to audio. Let's jump, scroll down to the bottom, right, right here. All right, so you'll see where now we have show in meeting option to turn on original sound. So ensure that it is ticked, right? Ensure that it is ticked. Also below that, you'll see other options, high fidelity music mode. Ensure that it's ticked. You'll see here, echo cancellation. If it is that you'll be using a headphone, you can leave this unchecked. But if it is that you're using your laptop speaker or any external speaker that your microphone is gonna hear, then ensure that it's ticked. Because what this does, it cancels out the echo. So whatever it is that's coming out of Zoom, the microphone will pick it up and Zoom will just cancel it. So your viewers on the other end of Zoom will, will not hear the repeat of themselves speaking, which would cause naturally a horrible feedback. So once you are not using a headphone, make sure that this box is checked. If you are using a headphone, you can uncheck it. Right? For me, I leave it off because I'm using a headphone. Now, ensure also that stereo audio is selected, right? My one is already selected. And what this does, it will give you the opportunity to use Zoom to output real nice stereo image. You know, stereo is more pleasant than mono. So you'll have a better sound quality. Scroll up to the, a little here. Suppress background noise. Sometimes I would tend to have it on auto. Um, it works just the same. But I, I these days I keep it on low. What this does, any background noise that is there, Zoom just simply somewhat eliminate it. You have the option to eliminate those background noise um, a little more aggressive up to the point where it, it, it gets very aggressive. But bear in mind what these option does when you select a higher option here, it literally causes the audio to sound somewhat choppy and it's not clear, it's not crispy. What I encourage, ensure that you're in a quiet environment right, so that you can enable low noise um, suppression, right, I have mine on low, so I have a good, you know, experience where my audio is concerned and my viewers and listeners, etc. Or you can leave it on auto. Uh, let me scroll up. Also, for automatic adjustment, when it comes to your volume here, I uncheck this because it can be annoying. Sometimes the audio level might decrease and you don't want it to decrease, especially when you're playing music, etc. You want a consistent volume going through. 
And also, when it comes to your mic input, just ensure that your sound card is selected. Or the, the mic that you're using, if it's a mic that is built in into the laptop, ensure that you select the appropriate option. Um, for your listening now, you'd want to ensure that you enable the appropriate listening device. The headphone is the best option. Um, but I can understand if you're doing a presentation and you don't want to have on a headphone, just ensure that the echo cancellation is on, is ticked. Right? And I think that is that. So now we are going to go into a meeting now. I have scheduled a test meeting. So you go right here into meetings. And also please note that when you're using Zoom, especially in a church scenario, where you have different, different persons using Zoom for different meetings, different departments, please note that you can click the record button here and you'll see all previous meeting that was recorded. So you can, you can open them at any time. You just click on it and any one, you can open it, right? You can do your conversion. You can delete whatever it is. Upcoming meetings that, that is scheduled are recurring meetings. You can use this option here to view all of them. So guess what? You don't need to reschedule your men's meeting because once you've scheduled the first one, the first one will live here forever, basically. So you can simply click on that. For example, I had one here set. It's there. This one was already passed, right? I can go back and start again, a new meeting. And I, all I have to do is just copy the invitation, the link and everything, passcode, everything will be there. So now let's go into our test meeting. Start it. Now, as you can see here, to the left of the screen, turn on original sound is there as a feature, as an option now. So what I'm going to ensure that I do is that the audio device that I'm speaking through, I'm ensuring that it is the one that is selected. Good. See, I'm using the Behringer. If you are using your internal microphone, you would ensure that it's selected. Or whatever mic source, if it's a line in, whatever it is based on your sound card capability or what you have as a sound card on your computer, whatever that source is, ensure it's ticked here. And once this is lit blue, it means that it's unfiltered, which means you are hearing the true quality of the sound, which is going to sound real pleasant and crispy once you're using a good quality microphone. And you can then now go down to your mic and ensure that you select the appropriate mic input here and your listening speakers. The next thing, finally, you wanting to share your audio that you might be playing in your media player or Spotify or on YouTube, wherever you're playing the audio from the same computer that you're using Zoom on. Could be a laptop, desktop, etc. Go to your share option. And you will have some settings here. Basic, you can share different screens, etc. Based on what you have open um, on your computer. You can go over to advanced uh, files. So depending on what you want to share, you have the option here. And additional settings. Now we are going back to advanced. So you are playing music from your computer. Click the music or computer sound only option here. And once it is clicked, you click share. You'll see at the top, you are sharing computer audio. Now, whatever it is that you play in your media player or whatever it is that you use to play music on your computer or laptop, desktop, whatever, those audio will be going right into Zoom now. Now, please note that you can still mute your mic while that is happening. It doesn't affect your mic being muted or not because this is not the means in which the audio is going into Zoom anymore. Now, whenever you're ready to speak, this is where now you unmute your audio, unmute your mic rather, so that your, your viewers can hear you. And then, of course, you have to stop the app. So if it's your music, if your media player that's playing the music, you turn it off once you're ready to go in your meeting or once you want the music to stop. This video is one of two videos that I'll be doing. The next video I'll be doing is going to be more advanced stuff using OBS to communicate to Zoom so you can have an even more professional presentation.